It's Wednesday. It's hump day. The week is almost done, people. The week is almost done. Let's shake it off. It's hump day. It's Wednesday. Woo! Closer to the weekend, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about Monday's show. We had a little bit of weird technical difficulties, but we decided just to record that one and upload it for y'all later. So apologize it wasn't live. Um, I'm sure you guys heard the shout outs I gave. I already heard from a couple people that they heard it. So, um, thank you for letting me know, Gary Compton, and we wish a happy birthday to Haley, and um, anyone who wants to give shout-outs, please do. Let me see what I have for you today, everybody. Oh, pardon me. I got the hiccups really bad. Anywho, let's see what I've got for everyone. No, I don't want to watch this on the TV. Hey, should I bring myself on the show? Because that'd be hilarious. All right. Here we go. So I got a lot of fun stuff here over at the Catacombs. Click on the links. You'll see a link for Kickstarter, the Catacomb, Coffin Comic Shop. I got some really neat, cool exclusives uh, we're going to be launching this weekend that I want to show you guys as well. So I want to show you guys these pretty quick. Um, this is pretty, pretty, pretty badass. I got to say, it's one of the reasons why I love working here. We have... And this is the Hollow Fiend exclusives. Coffin shaped, 11 by 17 prints, two versions. There's a naughty and nice of both Hell Witch and Lady Death. We have two versions of each. And they are cut in the shape of a coffin. But that's not all we got shaped like a coffin. They will also be metal editions and standard editions. Get a look at those. These are really, really awesome. Um, Brian is a mad genius. I think we all know that. He's uh, really thinking outside of the box, and he went way out of the box on this. So it will be a comic book cut like a comic, and there will be metal cover versions as well. So, you know, we don't play around. Um, so get ready to be seeing these running around and people going nuts because this is pretty damn spectacular. I gotta say, these coffin shaped books are absolutely amazing, guys. Um, I, I'm i shocked. Um, I didn't think it was possible, but Brian was just like, let's figure it out. Uh, and we figured it out and it's coming to you guys Friday. This is going to be the Hollow Fiend exclusives. There will be coffin-shaped comics, um, coffin-shaped prints, and there will also be a coffin-shaped uh, metal edition as well. And there's also a really good homage that came out as well, uh, The Darkness Dwells. So we do have, for all you homage fans out there, we have a new one. This is going to be available on Friday. Death dwells. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Scott No, how are you? Good morning, or good morning, good afternoon. I hope everyone's enjoying their lunch break. Hello, hello, Scott, how are you today? Cool, so let's go ahead and show you guys some of the cool stuff we have up in the catacombs. And my little friend here, covering up something. This is the only one we got, I found one. This is the Lady Death Femme Fatale's PVC Diorama. I only have one of these. It's got some damage on the box, so we're selling it at a discount price. But if you missed out on one of these, here you go. I have one. One, one, one. And if you get it, that means you're number one. All right. Some other fun and groovy things you can expect to find on the catacombs, and a lot of stuff is selling out, so... Take a look at it, check it out, click on the links. We have Lady Death Visions, Naughty White Wedding Edition. Jay, how are you? Hope you guys are having a good Wednesday. We're almost done with the week. This is a number three edition. Beautiful little foil sticker. Even cool and groovier COA that you can expect from Coffin Comics. This is stuff you'll find on the catacombs. JJJ. Jay! God, I love you guys. You guys uh, working for Coffin Comics and um, 
the interactions I'm having with all the Sworn and the Fiends and the fans and the everyone is just, it's a hoot, man. I, I love the relationships I am get going here at Coffin Comics. Found a, another one, this is a naughty crossover cover. This is number three, Lady Death, Sad Girl, Psycho Baby, Dan Mendoza. Number three, number three, this is it. Issue number three out of 125. This is the Naughty Crossover Cover Edition. I think today's episode may be number threes because I got a lot of number threes. I also got in a Sworn Jaunt into Darkness Edition. This one is signed. I only have the one copy. It's 176 out of 200. One of these, and I've made sure there is a nice red COA in there for you as well. All right, got some four Chase Editions we loaded up on there. So if anyone likes to collect the Chase Editions, there is four available right now. Once they're gone, that is it. That is the La Muerta Last Rites Chase Editions. So I think I see a lot of folks on like, um, on the comic sites talking about the Chase Editions and how they're trying to get them all. So really cool stuff. I got four. Get them. Don't delay. We got an artist proof. Artist proof. This is Lady Death Gallery. This is a handcrafted AP number three. AP number three, Lady Death Gallery, handcrafted edition. Yes, it does have an artist proof COA as well. Only got one of these. Um, I bought, I've brought out the other ones um, slowly throughout this year and they go really fast. So don't delay if you see it. I only got the one, that's it. Another number three edition. This is Lady Death Heartbreaker. This is the Naughty Chamber edition. It is a number three. Monty Moore is the artist. I've got one, one, one. One of these. There can only be one, number three. Unless it's an AP. Okay, okay, I get that, I get that. Well, Scott, it has been, actually, I think it's been longer than 20 years. I remember um, I met your brother first, and that was 26 years ago, and I met you, God, I don't know, were you even, I think you were in college? But I remember you coming by to visit him, so I've known you longer than that. You want to take our relationship to the next level, big guy? You better talk to your wife first. You're married. Okay, next up, <laughs> Lady Death Visions. This is a DeBalfo cover. This is the naughty. One, one, one. Uno mas, uno mas. Get it while I got it. What else? What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, yeah. Yeah, it has been a long time. Ah, oh, thank you guys. I'm glad. Um, thank you, uh, Jimmy, for ordering uh, a microphones for us so you guys can hear me better. So when I walk away, it doesn't die out. So everyone, everyone's give a big thank you, Jimmy, for making our videos even better than they already were. So Jimmy's doing a hell of a job. So thank you very much, sir. I got another artist proof. This is an AP3, so this is the last one I will have. This is the Metal Dark Mistress. Thought I'd break out all the cool, spooky, hot, scary covers since it is the Halloween season. Hope everyone is pumped and excited. Um, I will uh, probably be at home uh, handing out candy to trick-or-treaters because I'll be having the little ones with us, so it should be a lot of fun. Hope you guys have something planned awesome, fun for your family or yourself. Another number three, Lady Death Retribution. This is the Countess Holofoil edition. I've got the one, the number three. Wow, that, that really picks up the holofoil beautifully right there. Nice. Got the beautiful COA. Got the one, got the one. A lot of this stuff, once they're out, they're out. Here's a little something for you guys. I have another AP set. I have an AP. This is the Retribution Metal Edition Countess. I have AP3 and I have an AP4. 
These are it, guys. Once they're gone, they're gone. That's it. These are the only ones I have left. Let's see what we're looking at here real quick. Jimmy does rule, Jay. Jimmy rules. All right. Another fun thing when I've uh, digging around uh, through all these boxes to find stuff, I just find things that people just didn't finish doing their backer kits or their surveys and never paid for their Kickstarter. And that's where I find really cool stuff like this, Unholy Ruin. This is the Naughty Edition by Ebass. This copy is signed by Brian, so I included the COA. Oh Yeah, this is the fun stuff I get to find. Um, go through here. It's like, wow, someone missed out on that. There's going to be a fan that's really excited because that's probably a book they wanted in their collection too. Carmen, hello, hello. How are you, Carmen? Hope you are doing well. Hope you're having a beautiful day because it is a very beautiful day out. Especially here in Phoenix, it's finally starting to feel like fall. So I hope uh, the weather is amazing where you guys are at because finally it's not 105 degrees plus a billion Celsius. I got one, this is it. This is a vault book, it's a number six. This is Lady Death Hot Shots Naughty Jewel Edition. Got one here. What turn is the artist? I love the Fabergé egg that has all the skulls on it. This is uh, Mortimer, hi Mortimer. He will be my guest today. Next up, another vault book. Lady Death Revelations, Naughty Knives. Awesome homage to Freddy Krueger by Dan Mendoza. I love these. Um, I wish I had some of the Hellraiser ones he did. Uh, that would have been pretty sweet. And Lady Death Hell Raiders. This is the Don McTeague Necro Sketch D. This is a publisher file, everybody. Check it out. I got one today, one today, one today, and that's all I have to say. Let's put that nice front center there, Mortimer. There we go. All right, now we got a Kickstarter going on. It's been uh, God, a week now. This is crazy, this is crazy. 70s on Monday. Yeah, isn't it amazing, Scott? It's like, wow, I can actually breathe. It's nice to drive around without the AC on. I can roll down the window and get the smoky, semi-fresh air we have going on in the valley with all the storms, or I should say fires. Uh, real quick, guys, I want to show you guys some of the really cool stuff we have here going on at the Kickstarter. Please, 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 if you haven't told anyone about it, let them know. Brian Polito and Lady Death are back, and we're celebrating the third chapter of Hell Witch. Hell Witch Sacrilegious. These are the mock-up editions for the original art that we are offering. Always liked how people had those great uh, covers that they had original art put on it. Well, you can too. Go ahead and back us. Pick up one of these blank covers. Seek out one of the Coffin Comics' many talented artists and uh, have them put an original piece of work on there. It's one of a kind, it's unique, and it's all yours. I highly recommend those. 50s and rain, Jay, you better send it our way, man. Also, on the Kickstarter, you can get the Hell Witch Sacrilegious. This is the soft cover edition. Then another really beautiful, this is the Risqué cover. Sun K. I really love the, the fire, the energy coming out of her eye right in the corners that just adds so much as a really beautiful addition to the character i really love that it just very eye-catching haha you see what i did there and uh just just beautiful just beautifully dramatic stunning work this is what you can get on our kickstarter click on the link and back us man we got a lot of good stuff right here this is the hardcover edition These are our mock-ups, so some of this stuff we end up uh, selling later on. Sometimes, sometimes um, they end up getting like tipped in, randomly just thrown in to Kickstarter orders. So not only um, 
do we offer a lot. We throw in a lot of free stuff for you guys. It's crazy. This is the homage cover. Everything here is on the Kickstarter link. Click on it, back us, share it with somebody who you think would be interested in carrying our books, including Hell Witch. This is the jeweled edition. Again, I wish I could get the jewels better, to reflect better, because they really blend in well, but man, that is just beautiful. There we go, right there on the hilt and the eyes. There's a Schwarzky crystals. There's some along the blade here, and also on the horns with the roses in her hair. Beautiful, beautiful jeweled edition. Pick it up. This is what you can get available on our Kickstarter. And also a lot of fun. This is the uh, lenticular cover. This is lenticular mock-up A. So there you are. Hi, I'm doing a little dance for you. To hey, it's getting hot in here. Hell Witch takes off her top. There you go. Look at that. This is the lenticulars. This will be, I think, our third or fourth lenticular. Um, these are a lot of fun. I'm really glad we're doing lenticulars. It's just a, another cool, unique item that we uh, add to the Kickstarters. Miguel, how are you, man? How are you feeling? How is your week going? Uh, hopefully it's going great because it's Wednesday and that means we're close to the weekend, everybody. Oh, oh, oh what a weekend. Here is the hollow foil edition we are offering on Kickstarter. Look at that. My God, we do beautiful books. Richard Ortiz is the cover artist on this. Look at how beautiful that hollow foil reflects in the light. Oh. Look at that. It's a love fest everywhere. Everybody say hi to Miguel. Everyone say hi to Miguel. I love that you guys just, the, all the love that goes on in these videos I make is great. This is the uh, metal edition. I believe we may be out of this. This thing went quick. This thing went really fast, um, which uh, I wasn't surprised uh, when I first saw the art. I was like, okay, uh, yeah, that's not going to last long. And it's true, it didn't last long. Uh, I missed you too, Miguel. Sorry about that. We had some major problems. We, uh, all of a sudden, the uh, internet wouldn't let us connect at all to Facebook. And um, yeah, we even tried three different devices. Um, one phone, my other phone, and even Jimmy's phone, and nothing would uh, connect at all. So, weird glitch. Sure, it was just a one-time thing. Made sure my phone got all the updates in case that was what the problem was. So... Here, right here, everybody, is the mystery envelopes that we are offering on our Kickstarter. Mystery envelopes are really very popular. Hi, Eric. How are you? Good to see you. Hope you're having a good Wednesday, man. Day treating you right so far? It better be. If not, send it my way. I'll kick it in the butt and send it back to you in a better mood. All right. Look at these beautiful mystery envelopes, folks. This is great. A lot of people are like, well, how do you know what's in there? It's like, we don't. We put them in the envelopes, put them in boxes, and mix them up, and then we pull your orders. And we pull them randomly. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Look at that chain link love right there. Woo! Wow. Love those spikes on her shoulder pads, man. Don't hug her. <laughs> don't hug her. That's, that's going to be piercing. Ah, <laughs> throwing out dad jokes today too, guys. These are all the items on our Hell Witch Sacrilegious Kickstarter. These are the mystery envelopes. Look at some of these amazing works of art, these amazing covers that you can only get by backing us on Hell Witch Sacrilegious Kickstarter, guys. Oh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, look at this hollow foil one right here, everybody. Look at that. These are all the mock-ups. Just amazing. But not only that, here's the other thing in the mystery envelopes. We also throw in artist proof editions randomly. Publisher file copies. And BP editions. I mean, just... You may just get an extra thing inside your uh, mystery envelope, and it's a really cool rare book. Right over here, 
we have our chase editions. These are a lot of fun. Um, also, if you click on the catacombs, I have uh, four La Muerta ones up there. Those are the last of the um, chase editions for last rites I have run across. Um, if I run across more, I will definitely uh, be uploading them for you guys. Um, those have done really well for me in the past. And I'm really glad I'm kind of taking this stuff out of the eBay store and I'm bringing it home to you guys where it belongs. Um, I know a lot of you guys follow me on um, uh, eBay. Um, I have taken down quite a bit stuff, but I have some really cool deals on there still. I still have some exclusive stuff, but if you want good deals, hit me up over there. Uh, Brandy Sparkle Edition. I don't know. That's a good one. That's actually a good question. Um, I, I have a feeling if we make a Brandy Sparkles edition, it's gonna get glitter everywhere. So, um, it, unless you want glitter all over your house, um, all over your comic book, then yes, I think we totally should do a Brandy Sparkle ones. Look at this fine art print, guys. This is still available on the Hell Witch Sacrilegious Kickstarter. And there's more. Let me just move my tripod out of the way. Show you guys some of here. Here's some of the metal jeweled editions we have. Look at this beautiful piece. Look at that. This, this is a stunner. Real metal cover with Schwarzky crystals placed throughout. This is something unique. This is something amazing we do here at Coffin Comics. We really like to think out of the box. Uh, envelope full of glitter. No, um, there might be some new kids on the block trading cards in there too, Scott. Don't forget about that. <laughs> I don't know. Brandy loves collecting her shoes and uh, new kids on the block stuff. Who am I to judge, man? I, I, I like uh, movies with guys in rubber suits destroying miniature buildings. That, to me, is high art. <laughs> so I, should, I never judge anyone on what they're into because, hey, <laughs> Look what I'm into. It's true, Scott. You know it. This is the Dan Mendoza three-book set. Look at that. Dan Mendoza fans, there you are. There's his newest one. It's, it's, it's definitely an eye-catcher. And over here, if you uh, haven't backed us before, well, you can totally pick up chapters one and two of Hell Witches... Adventures here at Coffin Comics at the Coffin Verse. And then while you're there, back up and get number three. There is a really good values. There's a lot of tiers to choose from for everyone. For those who like to go for the big crazy I gotta have everyone, to those who are just like, I just want that soft cover because I just want to read this book. Because I like chapter one and I like chapter two and I'm ready for chapter three. So that's the kind of stuff you can find on our Kickstarter, guys. Hi, Justin Hunt. How are you? And not only that, look what we have randomly been pulling your numbers, your backer numbers, and you will be receiving if you uh, if we pick your number and the wheel picks you an ash can or a vault edition, we're just going to tip that in. It's like, boop, just drop it into your order. He doesn't charge any... Exactly, exactly. Are we talking about um, Scott, Rob Scott? There, Scott, no? I bet you anything we are. Because that's the right, attitude, the right attitude. Scott definitely has that attitude. All right, I got six more minutes. But also want to show you guys here. These are coffin-shaped 11 by 17 prints we will be offering on Friday. That will be the Hollow Wicked, excuse me, I got the hiccups. That will be the Hollow, Hollow Fiend exclusives. There is going to be 1117 prints in coffin shapes. There's going to be two metal editions that are shaped like coffins. Yes, the comic books will be cut into the shape of a coffin. That's right, you heard it here. We thought way out of the box. We thought way outside of the casket to make something original. Dude, visit his shop. He's been doing a lot of really cool stuff out there in Chandler. I think it's Chandler Mace area, so. Check out Asylum Records, really good local comic shop. So this 
is what we're offering Friday. The Hollow Fiend exclusives. We have coffin shaped items and there will definitely be a very cool homage cover. So click on the links to get what you guys want. We only have a few items on the catacombs. A lot of our stuff is selling out. Let's do a switch to scan over some of the beautiful things I have for you guys. And also thank you everyone for your support. Um, I really had a lot of fun on the Kickstarter and jumping in and helping you guys out. Um, it's a great way to get to know everyone and realize no matter what, we have the most beautiful fans. We do. They're very loyal, they're very friendly, and man, they are some great, great people. Okay, we have been selling out of a lot of stuff over at the catacombs. So this is what I just had them upload today. On Monday, there will be some more items added. So every Monday and Wednesday, expect to see new items added to the catacombs. Some of them will be onesie twosie. The, this is the last of them. Some of them may be publisher files. Some of them will just be stuff that, you know what? I don't want to sell it on eBay. I want to sell it to you guys. Bring this stuff home. Don't forget to support um, the Kickstarter guys if you have. It's been insane. Um, I, just when you think you've seen it all at Coffin Comics, you guys prove us wrong. So back us on Kickstarter. Hell Witch, Chapter 3, Sacrilegious. Get it, get it, get it. The next, look at the, I mean, look at the art you're going to get there. This is some of the interior pages we blew up to show you guys. Kickstarter. Aha! Uh -huh. A Godzilla, Tooligan Godzilla edition. Boy, I don't think Toho would love that. <laughs> I may be a big fan of their products, but yeah. I, I got some great stories to tell you all one of these days uh, when we're all together at uh, Fiend Fest when um, I got a cease and desist from Toho like 15 years ago uh, during one of my Godzilla Fests. So that was pretty cool. I think I still have that legal rec that legal letter they sent me too. So anywho, I've been Hooligan. I have loved my time with you guys. I'm going to go eat some lunch. You guys should be eating lunch. I hope you're enjoying your Wednesday. We're almost through it, people. It's hump day, Thursday, and then the weekend is upon us on Friday. Don't forget... Check out the links for CoffinComicsShop.com. There's also a link for the Kickstarter for the newest Hellraiser, Hell, Hell Witch chapter. I guess I'm going to have to watch some Hellraiser this weekend. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great day. Be good to each other. And I am sworn to you. Thank you, guys and gals. You've all been amazing. Asta.